tonight, familiar heartbreak and a gut-wrenching irony that the victims in Boulder managed to survive a global pandemic only to die in America's decades-long epidemic of gun violence. Only a week ago, it was Atlanta. Before that, there was Milwaukee and El Paso, Dayton, Virginia Beach, Thousand Oaks, Pittsburgh, Santa Fe, Parkland, Las Vegas, Orlando, Newtown, Aurora, Charleston, Virginia Tech. The list of places and names goes on and on. Since the Columbine Massacre in 1999, there have been at least 114 mass shootings, 13 hover victims. Today, former President Obama wrote, we should be able to live our lives without wondering if the next trip outside our home could be our last. We should, but in America, we can't. While hate and mental problems occur in every country, America is unique with more guns than there are people. The effort has always been through American history to protect everyone's rights under the Constitution, but at the same time, we all have the right to public safety. The country has suffered through so many mass murders, many Americans now feel a personal connection to one or even more. The same hometown, the same school, the same grocery store, the same bar or concert. Just as the country begins to emerge from the COVID darkness, the question many are asking tonight, is America's new normal just the old normal once again?